Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail and this is our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello. How are you? It's really good to see you here. Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me today. So today I've got a weave tutorial for you and the weave we're going to be looking at today is Syrian. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Okay, guys, so I've got some sample pieces here of the Assyrian weave uh, made up for you. Uh, coming up here on the side of the screen will be the ring sizes that I use to make up these particular pieces. You'll also find that information and a few handy links down in the, the description section that you'll find underneath this video. Okay. But before I launch into the ring sizes, I just want to give you a quick look at the weave. It does have two different faces to it, which makes it quite interesting. On this side and the opposite side, you get this look of full Persian 6-in-1. And then on the other two sides, you've got this uh, other version, which looks similar to the 3 hours less sleep. So that's just a, a look at the weave. It is a round weave. It is quite uh, chunky, especially in the thicker sizes. But to go through the sizes with you now, this one over here is our 14 gauge AWG. That's 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID I used here was 3 eighths of an inch, which is 9.53 millimeters. The next one is the 16 gauge version, 1.2 millimeter diameter wire, a ring ID of 9 30 seconds of an inch or 7.14 millimeters. Our next one down is our 18 gauge AWG version that is 1 millimeter diameter wire. The ring ID here is 5.75 millimeters. And then lastly, this is our 20 gauge version, which is 0.8 millimeter diameter wire. Ring ID here is 4.75 millimeters. Now, obviously I didn't have colored rings in the two smaller gauges, which is why we've got just the bright aluminum version. Um, if you have access to 20 gauge 3 16 you would be able to do this one here. The 18 gauge version, I'm not sure that we'd be able to find um, a coloured ring or that is, that is easily available, readily available anyway, um, to do the 18 gauge in the two colours. Okay, so to demonstrate this weave today, I'm going to be working in the 14 gauge AWG ring. So that's the 1.6 millimetre with a 3 eighths of an inch ID. So to start this weave up, we want to make a short chain of 2-2 two, two with our first colour, which in this case is the bright aluminium. So go ahead and make up a short piece of 2-2. Two, two. And then once you have that, take up a twist tie. Feed it through one pair of rings. And then we're going to flip back the end pair of rings, much like we would if we were doing Byzantine, okay? So flip them all the way back against your work, opening up those top two rings so you can see that path there through the middle. Once you've got um, that done, take up one of your colour two rings and feed it through that center space there, picking up those two rings that we folded back and locking them into position. And then once you've placed that ring, you wanna take up another and place it on the outside of those silver rings that we folded back. So one on that side there and one on the other side of your piece as well. Okay. So your work should look something like this now with our three colored rings placed. Take up another colored ring or color two ring and feed that just through the three colored rings that you just placed, okay? Don't pick up any of those silver ones there, just the three colored rings. 
And then before closing, we want to bring that down and we want to feed it through the two silver rings. So if you're familiar with the way I do full Persian, this is a similar maneuver. Okay, so picking up the two silver rings from the previous section, close that ring up. Okay, and we want to do the same to the other side of our weave. So take up another colored ring feed it through the three that are already in weave there and then also feed it down through the two previous silver rings okay and close that up so your work should look like this at the moment so this is one view and this is the other view Okay, next take up bright aluminium ring and we want to pick up, we're looking at the second layer of rings, so not these three rings that are on top, but these second layer of coloured rings. We want to put one bright aluminium ring through between the first and the second ring there. Okay, and then we want to come over here and pick it up between the second and the third ring. Okay, and your work should look like this at the moment. Then taking up another bright aluminium ring, we're going to pick up the two rings that we just added. We're going to then go down to the previous row and we want to pick up all three of those coloured rings from the previous row. Okay. Close it up. And your work should look like this. Flip it over to the other side and we want to do the same over there. So I'm going to pick up my two silver rings. I'm going to bring my opened ring down and pick up the three colored rings from the previous unit and then close that all up. Okay, so we've got um, three units in place at the moment. And you can see the two different faces there. There's our uh, Persian six in one look and our um, three hours less sleep. And you just rinse and repeat that. So it's now obviously a colored section. And for this one, we want to put a colored ring in the middle. and then a colored ring on each side. Okay, so we've placed our three new colored rings. We take up another colored ring we feed it through the three rings that we just placed and then we turn our ring down and we feed it through the two rings from the previous unit. Close it up. So your work should look like this. You can see the ring that we just placed is this one here and we need to place one on the other side. Now if feeding it through the three rings and coming down confuses you, you can go straight into 
the previous two units first and then feed your ring up through those three. It doesn't matter which way you do it guys, just as long as it works for you. Okay, so there's our new set of coloured rings placed. Our next set are the bright aluminium rings. Those we're going to place in between our three coloured rings here. So we're going to put one through this position. Close it up. A second one goes between the next two rings in the sequence. Close it up. There's your two bright aluminium rings placed. Taking up another silver ring, pick up the two silver rings that you just placed and then come down and scoop up the three rings from the previous unit. Okay, so your work should look like this. On the side there, you can see we've got the one ring placed. To place one on the other side. Again, scoop up those two rings, bring it down and scoop up the three from the unit directly below. And that's all it is, guys. You just rinse and repeat until you reach the length that you require. But that is how you weave up the Assyrian weave. Alrighty, my lovelies, well, that is it. That is the video tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. Don't forget, if you did find it useful, give it a thumbs up here on YouTube, share the video if you like, leave any comments or questions down below the video and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, raffle around in some of our other videos while you're here. There's plenty of them to check out. If you're not a subscriber, it would be really awesome if you would consider doing that for us. It really does help the channel out. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give our shop link up in here a little bit of love and affection. That's where we sell the bits and bobs and you know what's. You're going to need to whip up this weave and many others. So once again, guys, thanks for popping in and seeing me. It is truly great to spend some time with you. Keep safe, keep well, and hopefully I'll see you again in the very near future. Mwah. Bye now.